हेलो 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 हेलो
with uh, smell or something like a brownish color, light brownish color, then we can assume that the IDP is wonderfully working. Otherwise, it is, if it is a white color, lot of foam is there, or if it is a black color, then we can consider that uh, MLSS is still not uh, achieved, the uh, required MLSS is not achieved. So that is the one. Then sometimes white foam is there. Many times white foam appears means loading is still sufficient, not sufficient. MLSS, for example, if it is designed for 3000, if MLSS is only 800 or 1000, lot of foam will be there, uh, foam issues will be there, total foam will fall down, except paper mills and other things will have some, some, of course, surfactants are only one of the issues, but generally, foam appears means still MLSS is to be developed. Once MLSS is fully developed, <coughs> then, yeah, at ASP can cut the steroids. Sometimes dead spots. Sometimes uh, returns like uh, having low suspended solids and other things. These are the some of the points in uh, actual results. Second day settling tanks also immediately will come. There also sometimes issues will come. What happens? Many times solids are carried out. Excellent EDBA persons also sometimes uh, improper design is there. In one of the paper mill we have seen the uh, design was excellent. It was done by a repeated firm. But what happens, all BOD is well within the limit of 10 or 15, but suspended are still coming out. Maybe some desire. Secondary clarifier outlet is always not ended. Always it is around 150 or 200. Maybe some design values are there. Properly they are not taken. Sometimes mushroom cloud of solids, poor settlement of solids. All this mainly I think for poor design. Secondary clarifier mainly design issues are there. So it should be properly designed to remove the slides and of course separate the return slides also. The handling also, sometimes dewatering is very, very important. Then, uh, it may be oil, sludge, or filter cloth probing, all these problems uh, in sludge handling. GSP is one of the important. You can, yeah, Hyderabad is there already. Many students are all of you can go to Amberpet STP. Wonderful GSP is there. Of course, working very well. We also thought of it is doesn't work or something. The earlier one, NLB digester never worked. Never they achieved also, but now the U.S. outflow anaerobic slide way. It's wonderfully working, the VOD is achieving up to 10. And lot of gas production is there, a specialty. Lot of gas can be used for power generation. Many industries also, especially distilleries and other things. Earlier, only anaerobic lagoons are there. Presently, there is no anaerobic lagoons. All anaerobic lagoons we have simply, you know, only anaerobic digester. Small compact will be there. Everything in liquid will be there. It will go. So, suspended. So, automatic all growth will be there. So, by the time it fails to reach to upper, lot of gases will come. So, three stages will be there, you know, very well. All organic, highly complex molecules will come to simple molecule. Simple molecules comes into volatile acids like butyric acid, propionic acid, acetic acid, and other things. Then, the third stage is methanogenesis, the methane bacteria should develop in them. That all acids, whatever simple acids converted in methane. So, a lot of methane and of course carbon dioxide and other will be there. Depending upon the best availability, the biogas can be. Here also some problems will be there. ASB also will have some advantages and disadvantages also. I know advantages. High reduction in organics. Wherever, for example, if we lack, 1 lakh COD is there. If you go for uh, uh, ordinary uh, uh, activated or uh, sludge plant, it is not possible. If 1 lakh COD is there, 80% or 90% achievement, only possible in Then, the remaining 15,000, you can go for conventional activated slides. That's why ASV is very, very beneficial. High load also, high organic load also, you can take it up. There will not be any sludge, because other places, lot of sludge will come. So, sludge issue is not there. If it is anaerobic lagoon, lot of air pollution will be there in the surrounding here also. Biogas is one of the very, very advantageous gas which can be used. But power goes are in use. Okay. Okay. Opala industrial area daily, they are supplying up to 5 to 10, 6 kilometers area, they are supplying free of cost gas. The emission of 10 rupees are 20 rupees are charging. Up to 5 kilometers, I have seen the personally the Opala area in New Delhi. All the households are connected with this uh, digestive gas. So such thing also, here also you have still lot of USBs comes in. Then we can of course, we maintain some problems with the short time and other things, design and other things. Problems also will be there. But it is always advisable. The latest, any high pollution is there automatically. We suggest that 
flow in other business. So problems will be there. There will not sometimes gas doesn't be there, or whether organic load is there, or sometimes volatile acids, butyric acid and other things will be there. There will not be any methanogenic bacteria. So some problems we we can solve it easily. So we have to see that methanogenic bacteria to grow these requirements, then then it requires alkalinity. For alkalinity, we have to add some lime and other things. So many issues will be there. So we have to all solve that. So that uh, sometimes metals also will be there, which also causing problem. Sometimes scum will be there. All these things we have to check it. When we are designing this, we have some problems. Right? Next, so foaming will be there sometimes. Of course, we cannot see, but inside data forms will be there. The another latest technology which is coming is membrane biodegradable <coughs> technology. Is also nowadays uh, so many. Coming, MBR technology. Of course, uh, I have seen it in uh, recently. I have seen it in Gujarat, where uh, excellent big pharma they have developed this MBR, and the outlet effluents uh, are very very crystal clear. That's why earlier also I have my own doubt that MBR doesn't work works or not because it is uh, installed in our BATL. But BATL we have some problems. I don't know then technical there, technical problem on there. MBR I, I, I have not seen uh, with the uh, function of uh, MBR. But uh, the same thing I have seen in Gujarat recently. It is wonderfully working. Same thing. Consider everything is there, but here in the membrane. So a uh, membrane only everything uh, develops. So crystal clear water only. So there is no question of secondary staining tank. All these issues doesn't appear. So automatically MBR is the latest one I think uh, where we can utilize uh, this uh, technology. Of course, problems will be there. Any any technology we have some problem. But what is the flex membrane bowling? All these things cleaning. We have to do all these such problems in the membrane. Also, the filter very old also. You know very well. In Hyderabad, if you want to see, you can see IDPL plant is there. Which is the <coughs> latest one, sequential batch reactor is also there. This also you can see. Nowadays, recently, metro water supply of Sibir is board is constructed already US in you know, Hyderabad. SBR also is constructed in Atapur. Many of the students you can go Atapur. And of course, this SVR reactor. This is like a new new technology. Of course, different concept is there. Let us see how it works. We still I don't know what is the problem, but it is this technology is different. First fill everything appears to be filled. The first area it is totally anaerobic. The first fill area anaerobic. Immediately it will come to react. In this aeration we will provide. Immediately after the aeration, another thing bacteria goes then it will settle, then it will dry. So this five stages is there. How far it is working? I don't know. Still, uh, of course, uh, what are the understood is still problems are there in our uh, the SBR also. Let us see. After seeing the one year or something, SBR how how far it works are very important. Some STP design issues only whatever when it is any STP, whether it is conventional STP or any advanced STP, only three factors I will I want to tell. One is microorganism. Whether microorganisms are available or not, that's very very important. Of course, we have to give correct suggestions. When I am working in PCB and I am younger, I went to one sugar factory. But sugar factory is at your. There is no microorganisms. They have constructed lagoons and other things. Then I asked her, there is no microorganisms. Your BOD is not at all reducing. Just add 10 percent of the the powder, 10 percent of the area. I have given calculation. The total tank is calculated. From that, they have they have to fill up water, and you have to add powder. That is the only procedure. Then next year, after two months, I done. I I got some sample. Inlet two thousand, inlet some forty thousand or fifty thousand. Then I I asked my people whether you have collected water. Sugar in sugar industry, we want sugar fifty thousand. Then it should be around two thousand thousand. It should come down. But to the contrary to that, output is very very high. Why I got panic? What is the reason? Then we went to that plant. Then we have seen. Sir, you have told that you are powder. I am sugar factory. Lot of dung will be there. Everything I put it, sir, so that lot of factory. <laughs> so it doesn't work. Actually, the pressure load increases. That's why when we are giving idea, any advice is very careful. <laughs> Other than lot of things, the industry is not. You you only told us to add powder. Whatever the total powder, plenty of powder will be there. The sugar can be there. The easy easy way to dispose. Any country, actually the river also, up to 10 kilometers, the river beyond the walls are increasing like anything. Because everything they are just after treatment they used to be there. Sugar factory, sugar factory generally the water will be around 2000 or 3000. After treatment it will come. 
30 or 40 or 100 also, even if 100 also. So there is no problem. But this time it will increase like anything. So micro uh, oxygen also. Oxygen also nowadays largest technique are there. Recently I have seen one CE different Gujarat. They are very powerful, excellent uh, shock, very powerful uh, oxygen uh, techniques are key. So retaining otherwise what happens, maha rotators will they, they will consume lot of power. But this specially pulse power. So powerful oxygen is there. You can with, with small movement of that uh, pumps, specially designed pumps there. Actually, CDP is required a lot of oxygen, but wonderfully that new pumps were there, uh, excellent powerful pumps, uh, throw output or something, compressors are there. Compressor also not making any sound, lot of oxygen, because oxygen is very, very important. Especially oxygen and microorganisms are there, no so main problem is there. Good days only have to see filamentous growth, be careful with filamentous growth. If it is observed, then there is no problem. Otherwise, you have to give chlorine dose or something. Uh, yeah, when such thing happens. Many things, many times it will happen in a treatment plan. So, yes, sir. Actually, you have to see whether uh, these things are, it is properly. Of course, advanced techniques are there. Most of you, I think, that, uh, might have discussed in the morning. I don't know, micro training, coagulation, filtration, or drug filtration, or filtration. You have to see. Thermal object ending, all these things. This is presently not, I think, convenient. We, we require one more class in details. So, some C E D painter I think here also I have given all what what they have to do. What is the technology? Low TDS and low C body. FDNs are not having anything. What should we do? So if it is low TDS and low B body, then simply any chemical treatment we can do. Otherwise, if it is low TDS but high B body, then go for any anaerobic, whether USB or anything, then followed by biological. If it is low TDS and of course high COD, of course chemical oxidation also is suggested I think when nobody is doing directly, of course going for ME and other things. But here yeah, high TDS is there, of course solar evaporation, post evaporation, high total better post evaporation also in uh, Telangana we have banned it totally. It is only ME. No, earlier what happens post evaporation means everything uh, easy, easy to construct with post evaporation. Condenser is there. They never they never operate the condenser. So whatever the post operation you have concentrated, everything is going into the air and causing lot of pollution. So because condensers they will open, <coughs> so that whatever post operation will become very fast. So we have banned it totally nowadays in all pharma industry. Only either go for ME or nothing. Because ME means what? ME followed by ATFD also. That is also very very important. ME also okay, but sometimes whatever all, all organic matter will be there. ME concentrates are highly organic. Uh, automatic agitator, the infill dryer also must ME multiple effect operator. Of course, different stages sometimes 3, 4, 5 also is coming. Then, of course, ATFD uh, agitated the infill dryer is wonderful working. So, we are getting, I think, mostly uh, wonderful results also immediately. <laughs> then, of course, here incineration and thermal decomposition, and of course, there are different things.